Well, hello, people of the world. So, before I start this video, uh, I think I might be sick. So, um, this morning woke up, kind of feeling a little off, a little tick on my throat. And then as the day progressed, I'm just having a hard time breathing and just trying to, like my body feels fine. It just like, I feel tight. So, anyways, that being said, let's get to the ground. Let's get to this video. So, first off, uh, thank you for everybody who chimes in. Um, I am going to, here in the hopefully next couple weeks, uh, put out a new format. So, stay tuned if anybody's new. Uh, this is something that's going to get turned into, into something great. I know it. I'm not going to stop until it does. Uh, no matter how bad I feel, no matter how good I feel, the grind is real. And this is going to happen. So, uh, if you believe it, it will become a reality. Except for that one time. Alright, so, uh, as many, many of y'all knew, uh, basically, like right here, and all this was stacked to the ceiling. So, uh, basically, I've cleared out this section and uh, got a lot of stuff thrown away, a lot of stuff gone. Um, but yeah, uh, this is all shelving um, or pieces to the shelving. There's a lot of stuff here, and I was trying to figure out how to do it. And then I had a brainwave. I had a, an epiphany. So what I'm doing is I'm setting up the shelving. It's going to go all the way back to roughly over there. I'm going to make a little hole. And so this side is going to be my in-house storage. So all this is stuff that I have to go through. It's a little dark back right here. I'm, I'm going to get some lights and put up here. But basically, as I'm building the shelves, I'm filling them up and making sure everything over here is filled. So in that way, when you're over in this area, this is going to be my garage sale area. So this side is all going to be stuff that's for sale, priced, ready to go. And I'm going to have like uh, a lot of things put on Craigslist and have people come out and it'll all be displayed where people can see it. Then at the same time, you know, I could have my storage on the other side. Well, excuse me, my storage on the other side. And I think it's going to work. It, it takes care of all the shelving that's over there. It takes care of this stuff. You know, I can go ahead and set it up and utilize it. Uh, instead of just trying to figure out where I can move it to keep it out of the way. So I'm purposely putting it in the way so I could utilize it. And then uh, all the stuff, like in this area, all the stuff over here, I'm going through all that. And I'm going to get everything, sorry for the spinning around, but I'm going to get everything put against this wall, get every single little nook cranny filled. Once that's done, then I'm working on the trim rack. And I had uh, a couple nights ago, I was here, it's almost like 2 o'clock in the morning, making notes and trying to figure out what in the hell to do because right now i kind of have like a row here that's going to come around a row here then it goes back into the back part of the warehouse it's kind of not a really good setup so i'm going to uh, concentrate on selling all the trim and uh, by doing that i should be able to generate some customers that want to buy trim so that will get me back into ordering baseboard crown mold stuff like that for contractors and it's supplemental income. It's real quick, quick in and out stuff. So, all right. So that's phase one. It's clean. Start selling the trim. Start selling just this and see where that takes you in life while going through everything else, you know. Um, I got my doors here, which they're going to get moved to the front. And every single one that I move, I'm going to take a picture of and get it up front. Uh, the back area here, I haven't done too much with it, mainly because, like I said, I didn't know where to put this stuff. I have no place to put it. So all this will be cleaned out by tonight and be put back on them shelves. And yeah, so that's all going to be done tonight as far as uh, getting in here done. Oh, here, let me show you what I did outside too. I have been doing a lot of cleaning. So... Remember last time, all this was full of stuff, so I've really opened up the backyard and uh, got all this taken care of. I uh, got a, some guys coming over today to buy some things, so all that's going to be out of here pretty soon. So, but yeah, I've uh, I've opened up quite a bit of stuff, and uh, it's going to rain Sunday, so I got to make sure a lot of this thing, a couple of these things, are taken care of. 
Um, oh, and I got I moved the trailer over there just because it's out of the way and it's on concrete. I got a couple of guys that uh, may end up buying it tonight. And then I stacked all, I screwed that to the uh, ceiling to help hold it down or to the roof and got all my tires stacked over here, which a lot of them are already on Craigslist. So, um, but I, I had to uh, order a, a tool, which I got one somewhere. And this is why I have so much stuff is because I know I have something, but I need it. I can't find it. So I ordered another one. So I ordered a tool to measure the holes, the diameter. And, and so that way, whenever I list the rims, I can say, okay, it's this lug. This is the measurement. And this little tool is only like 10 bucks and I'm going to get it next Thursday off Amazon. So it's like 25 if I bought it in the store. Amazon is uh, impressing me, even though I don't like the the large corporations. You know, it does make things a little simple. So it's kind of a double-edged sword. All right. Oh, and I got this uh, rack here, this bed. Um, I can't find the screws for it, so I'm just going to put that out by the road. You know, and a couple of the, and the wheels, these big, massive uh, wagon wheels. Uh, I got a person coming next week to pick them up. So, and then I just, like I said, there's a lot of little stuff here and the, there's a shelf, which I don't know if you can see, but there's like a little, that's the top of the shelf. So that shelf I'm going to leave up there. It's full of totes and stuff like that. I may leave that there. So, but I just got to go through and get this little bit of stuff off. And then, uh, oh, the shelves that I'm not using, I'm going to take and just make like one wall. So I'm just going to stack them, stack them set real nice and tight. And, you know, so they'll all be locked in. So if I ever need it, when I just pull it off and move it where I need to move it. So, but this is a quick little update. Um, definitely not feeling good, but I, I don't have nobody that's supposed to be around me. And the guys that are coming over to pick up an engine, you know, they're, they're bringing like five guys to come pick it up. So I'm not even going to sweat being near them. I'm just going to say, Hey guys, I don't know if I have something. I don't know if I do. Just stay away from me, you know. In fact, I'm even going to put on a mask when they come over just so to help protect them. But I still got quite a bit of stuff to do. Still got some grinding. It's about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Um, just needed to take a little five-minute break, so kind of get some stuff out of my head. But this is where I'm at right now. I still have a lot of stuff to sell. Still got a lot of stuff to go through. But I think I, I think I came up with a good idea by putting this shelving up because it's freeing up. There was so much stuff like in this area here that's already freed up. You know, a lot of that can go on the shelf. And then um, I'm going to uh, make one more van load for the storage unit. And it's all going to like the stuff I'm loading into the van is like just big boxes, you know, big totes, big boxes that are already full. And uh, trying to, you know, open up some space. Plus, I'm still going through looking for all the final legos for the one guy who bought the legos i'm i know there should be some more boxes back here so i'm trying to find them so but they're going to be either in this area here up up in them boxes there or they're up in the boxes up top over there so that's the only places they can be now because everything else is gone through and then i might have some in the bad box oh Speaking of bad box, okay, so let me show you guys bad box just in case you don't know what that is. This is a truck that I bought in, I believe, 2001 or 2002. I bought it for $100. It was sitting on the side of the road and the back of it was actually buried. But this is my old work truck, my first work truck in, you know, long, long, long time ago. So, and the doors fell off and then I built some doors and them fell off. Then I put some screw plywood. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the back of this and go through whatever's in there. And then all the trim, um, like all the baseboard crown mold, all that stuff. But, and just kind of give you guys, an, uh, like this whole pile of trim is stuff that I can't even get to. You know, there's a lot of overflow. There's all this stuff right here, you know, which... I got a plan for that too, but a lot of the stuff I'm going to put in the bad box just temporarily for, you know, just basically to get it out of the way. Um, cause I got this rack here. It's a sorting rack and, it, and unfortunately I filled it up so quickly that I can't sort stuff. Let me see if I, I can even show you, I'm trying to show you guys 
how to sort it. Hold on, I'll walk around again. I think there's some spots on the other side. See, this is my problem is I have to move stuff two, three times to even get to it. All right, but you see these little pegs? So all this is the, you know, sort the sort things into different things. So that's why I want to go through the stuff in the back, put it in a specific pot, a spot, put it online, get it sold. And then if somebody wants more, I'll order it in and put it in a spot and fill it up. But I want to keep everything, at least get it organized under control. So I'm going to use Bad Box. Whew, having a hard time breathing. I want to use Bad Box, the truck outside, since that's the only one that's not filled up. Well, it is, but it's filled up with stuff I don't care about. And put the trim out there. And that way I have a, you know, I can set up a table, pull it out of the truck, put it right onto the shelf, put it online, get it sold. So my plan is by the end of this month, everything should be at least in the area that I want it to be. And I should have a good portion of, excuse me, I should have a good portion of um, space available to start going through and organizing and everything else. So uh, starting, well, I've already put a couple things on Craigslist, but starting in February should be the 100% full grind. And then we start selling everything and going from there. So not exactly the... It's going a lot slower than I thought. Like, I really thought I'd be a lot further along than I am. But, you know, I'm not even going to lie to you. I do all this stuff by myself. I have no help. I have no one coming over. You know, I can't even hire people. I tried to hire some day laborers, and they don't even have any day laborers to help me out. So, you know, what you're seeing is a full-on grind by one person who is probably a lot older than most of you. So and sick today i'm not gonna say i'm sick i'm just definitely not at 100 percent. so um so right now uh this is gonna be it this is whoops sorry i'm showing you guys concrete and i trying not to, i'm just trying to show things that i have here what i'm going through but yeah there's a lot going on holy crap so, anyways uh, once I get done, it'll probably be uh, Sunday or Monday. I will do another video. And then I'm going to, uh, once I get into where I have things a little bit under control, then I'm going to try to go back to the daily uh, post. And starting in February, I'm really hoping to start doing live streams on Twitch. So, um, oh, and I've postponed it quite a few times just because I'm trying to figure out, you know, legally and logistically how to do it properly without screwing myself but um i did have some uh prints and everything set up so the clothing line should be coming out uh this spring so oh, that's a whole nother ordeal but i'm trying to do way too much at one time and i'm not i i know i'm you know not doing it the right way but I got to do it. I got to experience it. I got to have the bad experiences so I can put together uh, videos to show you guys saying, okay, if you want to open up a clothing line, if you want to start a business, if you want to do this, I want to show you guys on my how I did it, how I made mistakes, how I did good decisions. I want to kind of help people out. So if you can't have a job because of a particular you know, ordinance or because your personality doesn't work in, in public fields and you still got to make money, I want to show you guys how to do that. So, or at least maybe, you know, show you some of the things that I'm doing that might spin off into something that you can do on your own. You know, it may not even be what I do, but maybe I might spark that little, that little thought. And if any way that, you know, if I can help one person, I, I've served my purpose on this planet. So, but for now... Peace, love, money, I'm out.